welcome back guys and girls. Uh, thanks for checking out the video. Cheers. Um, just gonna do a little tour of the, the cabinets. Let's, uh, you know, see what I've got in there fully. I don't know, I guess it's just like a 2021 start. And uh, yeah, let's see how the uh, my collection progresses over the year. So let's jump on in and see what I've got. Okay, we're just going to start from the very top here. Uh, just go into, actually first I'll just apologise for, for the dust. I do often state I, like, I clean these cabinets regularly, which I do. I think it's been a couple of months uh, and I didn't realise just how dusty they got. But um, that makes it more vintage with a bit of dust. So a couple of retros up there. We've got the back of the cabinet, well, underneath the store, underneath the steps. We've got an uh, undertaker got my little Star Wars collection I've been building up. There's the Tebow, the Mario Brother figure, and a lot of dust. Now I'm still not sure what I'm doing with those. I've got to figure out how to display them. Um, they might have to be displayed another another day, month, year when I've got the space, but I might as well pick them up now as they're I'm managing to get them sort of beta cards cheap enough. And as we keep scrolling down, I've got, I love this knockoff Rambo. I absolutely love him. Uh, got knock off Hogan as well. I, I think there's Sun Gold or something. I, I actually have no idea, but I, I presume he's meant to be Rambo and he's joyous. And I mean, he's got to be Hogan. Again, he is joyous. So yeah, my main sort of main folk, my main, my favourite wrestlers or the ones I remember the most as a kid. Bushwhackers definitely not for their. Uh, for their title range or anything like that, but just because I remember them very, very clearly. Uh, Swap Cats, absolutely love these figures. So glad I managed to add these to the collection. Uh, a couple of badges that the boys picked me up. And you see there's a sort of on in ongoing theme of minifigures running along the cabinet. They sort of go along the top and I've got them pretty much, I've got them on most shelves, I think. Uh, yeah, there's not a lot of rhyme or reason to some of my collection. But another couple of a couple of Stallones uh, from Rob, Robbo Toys. Uh, we've got the little Transformer collection. I was hopefully going to do a little nod to it, the figures from the, the cartoon film, but kind of lost steam on this a little bit. Um, kind of killed me that Megatron is so small. Like he's standing on the same shelf as uh, Soundwave, uh, Ultra Magnus is actually on a higher platform, so that's why he looks so big. But like Ultra Magnus is the hench. Um, I feel like Megatron they should have made bigger. Like Galvatron looks bigger than him in comparison. Could just be because the big, the rocket, I guess. But yeah, I don't know. I haven't really lost interest in them, but I've definitely lost. I've sort of stopped the momentum of buying them to try and recreate one of each from the film. So I'm, I'm thinking these are going to end up going in storage for a while and uh, I'm going to use that space for hopefully, hopefully the LEGO Death Star. Uh, come across here, we've got Unicron. Badass figure, absolutely love that figure. Big old Mandalorian. Little claw with the uh, muscle figures in. Again, how do you display 236 muscle figures? Uh, little random horn head. Food fighters, I get this shark, love it. Uh, I think it's from Batman but it was a cheeky pickup from the booth there. I mean, a shark wearing like a mech suit, amazing. Uh, a couple of yo-yos. Now I don't need, I need to try and display these obviously better, but I've got my Baywatch boat, me and Pammy going off into the sunset. I've got my tin, tin horse I picked up. Uh, there's a Hulk Hogan yo-yo uh, and Mr. T yo-yo. Got my, my Duke from childhood. To be fair, he's been there for months. Um, very impressed it hasn't fallen down. It's probably the only figure in this cabinet that's never fallen down. Uh, so we've got neon, neon minifigures, love a minifigure. Now, I've done videos before about these extra shelves. So as you can see, this one here is, an, is a new one. This one here is a new one. Um, these two extra shelves. They're great if you're like me and you're stuck for space. Uh, it means that I can get more things out, I can see them but it, it does make it a bit harder to see things. So, for instance, there's not a very big gap here to 
try and display things and actually get, I don't know what the bird, like a bird's eye view down onto it, if that makes any sense. Um, it's great for me because I can, I know what's in there and I stand here and look at them and stuff. But if people do come around when we, yeah, when the world goes back to normal, off the like, yeah, but you can't see everything. It's like, dude, I know what's in there. Like, just check, you know, you've got to move a couple of things and bam, Magnum PI. I mean, who doesn't need a Magnum PI? Pop. Going on with my little Hawaiian shirt collection. Random snakes. Obviously, He Man snakes, but again, Mando and Yoda. And I've got a little, again, from Robo Toys. So that's like just a random shelf. This is another random shelf. So, like, I would really like to get the Bill and Ted figures sort of front and centre. But then, if I do that, I can't see the I can't see the other figures um, just because this is such a narrow shelf. Whereas, if it was on one of the like an original shelf, you'd have a much bigger sort of space to use, and you'd be able to visually see things. Visually see things. I don't think that makes sense, but hopefully, you get what I mean. Like the little little GI Joe bits here. Dark Crystal set, love that set. Silver Hawks at the back. And yeah, there's your Bill and Ted, and then the Police Academy figures, which you get. Oh, man, my watch list on eBay just went nuts for Police Academy, but I still, I don't really want to. I'm, I'm going to hold out and see if I can find some at a show, which was my ultimate goal, was to pick some up at loose at, at a show. Would love to pick up a couple more Clash of Titans figures, but uh, I'm not sure how feasible that is. But we'll see, I mean, they managed to find that one at a nerd base for like a tenner, so that was a bargain. So I know like a lot of people with their displays, they put like everything in one, one cabinet. Um, whereas I go across, so the Star Wars stuff was along the top, but then I, had to, I put in the extra shelves. So all the uh, vintage Star Wars. Pretty cool. Annoyingly, a couple of weeks ago on the Toy Division chat, I knocked. See those two? Yeah, knocked them down. Just been very lazy. Annoyingly to get them, I have to take out like those three, but then that could also mean that I'm going to knock down these five, so I have to take those out as well just in case. Then I have to take some of these off the top because you know, Chewy carrying uh, 3PO there is a little bit, a little bit ropey. Just, just be being ultimately lazy. Anyone else got anything that's fallen down in the cabinet you just have not been, you've just been too lazy to manoeuvre? Sure, I can't be the only one. Uh, we've got another uh, Jabba's, Jabba's little throne room. Plus extras, obviously. I know some of these characters aren't in Jabba's throne room. This would, like, Return of the Jedi was my favourite film. From the Star Wars universe, anyway. The Jabba scene, amazing. Loved it. spend a lot of time staring at these figures. Then you've got just the extra bits from Jabba, you've got oh, the Rancor. The Gamorian guards are cool. My, my little, little Care Bears on crack. Amazing, amazing. Like that rubber, I think I'll pick that rubber up for like 10p. Like, I mean, I know it's just a rubber, it's not exactly like the best thing in the world, but 1983. Right, that's, I don't know, it's cool. Here's a little Jubek. Then we got, so something I mean, most of you might have seen, not my Battle Beast collection. There's some army ants invading, little buggers. But we got, so you got your snakes. Now I have to, I, like, I'm definitely not the biggest snake collector, like, there's, a, there's another guy, Eric Coppen, Coppen. His collection of snakes is insane. And he's the, like seeing his pictures inspired me to start collecting them. Uh, and I do have a couple of other armies as well, but the snakes are just iconic. Uh, there's a little green, another like alien dude at the back there from Empire Toys. These are cool. So then we come down, you've got the Dan, Mr. Dan Plastic's Christmas present. Amazing. Hasbro style triple threat snake. I need to try and figure out a way to display it better so you can actually see it. Um, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's too, too, too much goodness. Uh, we've got the Battle Beast chariots. So there's three, three drag, like, yeah, three different bits of transportation. 
uh, one of their battles. Okay, so we've got the, the Phoenix battle, uh, the Phoenix playset or base. It is still missing its gun from the top. I'm not too sure when or if I'll ever find that. But the hunt is on. And then we've got the, the variants, so these are all different little, they've got different paint sculpts or they've got slightly different markings and slightly different moulds. We've got my little Toxic Crusaders, which again, actually, they were a gift from them by toys. They were, they were awesome. Never seen them before. They really glow in the dark as well when, when I uh, leave the lights on. Uh, another little snake just because he doesn't fit up there. There's nothing special about him. He's just been put there. Fit up there. Battlestar Galactica again, I think. I picked this up from Empire Toys when I got that green alien dude back there. I think it's Battlestar Galactica. Let uh, me come across. I'm not going to bore everyone with the Battle Beast because I, I waffle on about Battle Beast for a long time. But this is where I was talking about the, the vision or the extra shell sort of impairing on the vision. So I've got my Laser Beast here, which is an ongoing collection. Oh, yeah, these guys break my heart but I love them um, but so if you step back especially now I've got, I've got so many bits on on that shelf you, you can't really see what's under there unless you know you sort of move along oh, man I can't think of the words to express what I'm saying but the, yeah they they definitely shells definitely impair the vision impair impair oh. but anyway yeah battle beast <laughs> Hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to say. I've lost, I don't even know what I'm trying to say now. Let's just shut up and look at the boys. Battle Beast, look at the colours pop. They're just so cool. So, so cool. And then this is, so this is another little army, this is the hippos. Now, they, they, I didn't realise how hard it would be to get hippos um, in the UK. Most of these are being sourced from um, the States or Europe. Little army ants. And then, so the orange and green ones are your actual army ants from, uh, I believe it's Hasbro. And the metallic ones were bootlegs or knockoffs from, called like ter Terminants, Termin, something like that. But yeah, so they're, they're like knockoffs of them, which is pretty cool. And then this is the last little shelf. I've got a little gang of Aardvarks, just got to love that orange color. It's awesome. Uh, I've got cu custom. Battle Beast here, so we've got a glow in the dark one. Uh, sort of crossover between the GI Joe and the Cobra. Awesome, such a good paint job on that. Uh, and then these guys from the three of them, the Darth Vader, the Greedo, and the Yoda, are from For the Love of Toys. No, Love of Old. Oh, I'll put a link down. But yeah, uh, and then the Chewbacca. Um, that sorry, that's not from From the Love of Toys. That's from. Um, someone else buy her at Instagram but again I'll put a link for them then I've got clear oh yeah I've got clear cobra clear hippo and there is a clear trip, triple threat snake they're from uh, and this chameleon I got them from the girl's toy box I'm not 100% sure where he got them from I think I know but I'm not going to quote it just in case it's not uh, and then we've got some more bootlegs we've got an Indonesian bat which is the gold one in the middle there uh, Greek Mexican and thanks to Mr. P last year, I got me a Russian bootleg which I never even knew existed. So that's that's awesome. Uh, two more two more sets. You've got the beetle and then the shark. And that is that's my battle beasts collection. Still ongoing. Still want to get more. Need to need to do more with the laser beasts, but. I, yeah, I, I don't think I'll be getting laser beasts with guns. Okay, so now moving on to shelves where... Okay, moving down to... Now, most people would have seen these from my... Uh, well, Instagram and stuff like that. I love the Willow stuff. And I'm very grateful that I've managed to get this much already. Uh, I do have more of it. Uh, it's all in storage because, again, I don't have the room. But I was never a carded guy. Definitely, that's I've been buying a few more cards since getting involved with the Willow stuff. So good, so good. Like this collection, I've even got like some serial giveaway stuff. Uh, I've got a game. Uh, I don't go that hard on a lot of the collections I've got, but the um, yeah, the Willow stuff is just it's awesome. Come along, we've got a little 
I've had, I had to sit down, my knees are too old. Uh, got a little random shelf. So we've got some muscles, we've got the claw, uh, we've got a custom claw. Uh, I bought, I, I forget who made this one, I bought it from Toy, I want to say Toy Tokyo, I think the shop is, in New York. A little like keepsake from when I was there. Uh, I've got my Funko Thundercats. I know people don't like Funko, but I actually really like these figures, I think they're really cool. Um, Jane Silent Bob at the back there. Got the Tiger Shark. Another line I'd love to add to, but it's. Unfortunately, it seems like everything I like is very expensive or very hard to find. Um, Lincoln Hawk from Over the Top. And then we've got Bionic 6. And then again, as I mentioned, the little, sort of little mini figures sort of go throughout the whole the whole sort of cabinet. I should really got I've got an extra shelf to make space for them, but I'm just not sure where I want to sacrifice that room. But yeah, so it's a nice carded Bionic Six figure. Don't always see them. That's pretty cool. Brought him back from Florida with me. The Bionic Six stuff is so hard to get without like major paint scratches and rubs. Um, we'll go down, we'll go to Thundercats, yeah, just sort of links up with the fun Funko Thundercats. Got a little random Thundercat and He-Man shelf. I was definitely a Thundercats kid, wasn't a He-Man kid, but some of the He-Man stuff, you just, you be so funny, you've got to have a He-Man and Skeletor. And Chuck Norris. My, my little lone Supernatural. And, uh, yeah. Thundercats slowly, slowly adding to the Thundercat line. That's a line I do enjoy finding um, at the shows or in the wild. Um, there is plenty of it on eBay, but yeah, I like actually physically finding it and getting it. Um, now, another hodgepodge or random, random. We've got the turtles, sort of basic turtles four turtles, Shredder, Crane, Rocksteady, Bebop, Casey Jones. Again, I need an April O'Neil, but she's something I want to try and pick up at a, at a fair when they restart. Got the Rambo. Such a toy. Rambo, the Colonel, the A-Team. And then another random one, Silverhawks. Nice carded example of that. And, uh, well, you can't really see him, but Mr. Hulk Hogan. Amazing deal I got on that from uh, Mr. Brad. But yeah, so the 18 figures. That's a set, not ever, not. I didn't believe it was real. Didn't even know anything about it. I've mentioned it before, but Rob from Robo Toys helped me uh, get the European variants of the 18. Most impressive. Love that set. And then. Nearly at the end. Uh, so we've got Buck O'Hare, most people, you know, I've started Buck O'Hare stuff in lockdown one, I think it was, it passed the time. Great line for variants, kept me busy. Managed to do it without, well, actually I say I'm lying, I haven't completed it. There, if I want another variant, I need the, um, the baboon with a silver gun. But it's just not that fast. He's not my favorite character. Whereas every other one I've got, the variants. And I believe Blinky, uh, had an orange gun, so he had the blue, the silver, and I believe he had an orange one, which I haven't managed to come across yet. Um, but if I do, I, I would add, I'd add the blinky, but I'm not that fast on the um, the bruiser at the back. Do like the toads, got myself a little toad army. If I get myself up off the floor, see from the side there, a few, a few toads. They're cool, they're really nice to army build. The colours really pop, really, really good. And then we've got Centurions. Again, this isn't aligned because they're so big. Um, I'd like to give them more space, but I just don't have the room at the moment. So I've got the main ones there, you've got Ace, uh, oh my God. Ace, Max and Jake, Doc Terra, Doc Hacker. You've got one of the, the baddie drones at the back there. And you've got another, another um, Max, another Ace. More little minifigures from Mr. Rob Robo Toys, and then we've got another couple of Centurions. But there is, I mean, they're just I've got two more sets no, three more sets like big weapon systems, 
I, I just don't have the space for them. I'd love to get them out, but don't have the space. And then, probably the most random section, I guess, because you've got your, your Rocky figures next to Mario, the little Joker, some Rock Lords, uh, little Play, Playmobil, I think he was, little X-Ray Man. Uh, and then, again, mini figures, mini figures running along the front. And the, oh yeah, the uh, bootleg Battle Beast Sword at the back. Commander Battle Sword, amazing. And obviously there, there's a pile of stuff here that one day, one day I need to figure out where it goes. A full Mana Force bag. You know, just in case I want to start rocking a satchel go back to college or something like that, try and, try and learn some words so I can be more articulate when I'm talking on these things instead of going, uh, uh. Um, <laughs> see, uh. But yeah, so that's it, January 2021, that's how the cabinet stand. Might do another little follow-up video towards the end, or even the beginning of 2022, just to see what's changed, what's different. I wonder where my mind will go this year in terms of what to get. I think I'm definitely going hard on the yo-yos. Really enjoying picking up some weird yo-yos. There's a hell of a lot of them out there. Um, yeah, as I say, not the biggest collection you're ever going to see. To a degree, sometimes I think am I even a collector? I just like stuff. Um, no, I think it passes as a collection. Collection of tat, as Dan would say. But yeah. Who knows, maybe this year I'll be able to squeeze in another cabinet somewhere. Yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah, so that was a uh, little, insight, little insight into my, uh, my mind and my uh, sort of collection preferences. Now, I know it's not the biggest collection in the world, so if you've watched the video, thank you very much. If you've liked the video, if you subscribe, thank you very, very much. A little drink for you. Uh, if you... I don't know, let me know what you collect. If there's anything in there that sort of sparked any, I don't know, nostalgia feels or there's something that you looked at and you're like, oh, I remember that. Um, let me know. And let me know what you guys are collecting for 2021. And yeah, until next time. Thank you very much.